Calvin Castine, Steve Stahl will throw it up. Rick Frisbee, the other official. This is Section 7, Class C semifinals. The El Sable Valley Central School Patriots in uh, the visiting blue uniforms and the home team. Even though we're playing this at the Plattsburgh State Fieldhouse, is the Ticonderoga Sentinels. So the Sentinels have the higher seed. Roger Long, the coach for All Sable Valley, Rick Smith. A Denimora graduate is the coach for. Oh no. Oh no, a player injured and she is really screaming out there. Athletic trainer Mark Donnelly on the scene. This girl is hurt from Ticonderoga. Definitely a knee injury. Looks like it might be Megan Tubbs. Let's see. Only two Ticonderoga numbers with a four in them. Looks like that'd be 14 Megan Tubbs. So Ticonderoga will be playing without their leading scorer, a thousand point scorer, Megan Tubbs, who was being carried off the floor. We are 35 seconds into this one. Caitlin Mandy will inbound it. And Sentinels have the ball. You never know how it might affect the team when you see a player. A teammate carried off the floor, particularly if it's a star. Mandy shooting. Fouls on the roof. Hits them both. Two nothing. Ticonderoga. I'll say we're working the ball around. Go underneath. And that's just good. And I believe it was DeRoe who scored. Run through the ball, guys. Run through the ball. I'll save a ball. Not Brown in. McAllister over to DeRoe. They go underneath to Nut Brown. And then a Nut Brown scores. Alcott, let's sit back. Patriots take it away. And the reserve off her. No. Oh, gave it to uh, Sentinels. To the forecourt by Alcott. Come on, now, White. McAllister with the ball for the Patriots. McAllister for three, shot is missed. Reserve with the rebound. Kirk Smith calls a timeout. All right, Jayla Carter is in for. Sable Valley. Douglas puts it to the floor. Back to uh, McAllister. Push up the floor. With the rope. Carter 
Carter will inbound it. 524 showing here in the opening period. Callister with a shot. Nope. Ticonderoga's turn on the jump ball. Mandy will inbound. Gets it into Meserve. Carter gets the rebound. The Rolf on the high post. Callister for three. Nope. Rebounded by Cheryl Missouri. Taken away by Douglas. Carter tosses it in over to McAllister. Four two. Los Angeles Valley leading Ticonderoga. This is Section 7. I don't think we've introduced that part. Section 7 Class C semifinals. The roll shot is missed. And Missouri with the rebound. Missouri to Missouri and we're tied. 4 4 with 4 4 showing. Stolen by Missouri. Douglas wants the ball back. Funny is all caught. Callister will bring it up. 4-4 in the midway part of the first period. The rope out to Douglas, to McAllister, to Carter. out with it. Carried it. The roll shot. Rebounded by Meserve. Mandy gives it back to Meserve. Traveling. Nut Brown over to inbound it. Into Douglas. Sable Valley working it around. Not Brown on the high post. Carter with the ball. She is fouled. Fouls on Cheryl Meserve. Third game of the day for us. One more to go. Seton Catholic at Tupper Lake. Uh, against Tupper Lake, excuse me, is next. Reserve gives it to Johnson. Johnson from the corners. Rebounded by Alcott. Now grabbed by McAllister. McAllister into the forecourt. Nut Brown passing for Carter. It's out of bounds. Number three, Lachlan in for the Patriots. Ball comes into Alcott. Alcott to Johnson up to Mandy, pushing it up for Meserve. Meserve drives the paint, puts it up. And rebounded by Meserve out to Mandy. Mandy puts a shot up. A rebound pulled down by DeRolf, and we have a foul on Rebecca Meserve. 156 showing. We're in the first quarter. 4 4 the score in this Section 7 Class C semifinal. Lachlan slapped out of bounds. Nut Brown inbounds it. Do it again, do it again. Callister goes to Nut Brown. Shot is short. Looks like it went off the rope, but Frisbee gets to uh, the Sentinels. Bro will inbound. To McAllister. Callister with a long shot. Rebounded by Rebecca Missouri. 
pushes it up to Johnson. Johnson pushes it down the floor. Shot missed by number 11 in the game, Jobert. Not Brown picks it up and lays it in. It's a 6-4 off Sable Valley lead. Patriots pressing. Tubbs is over on the bench. Ice on her knee. Ball comes to Rebecca Meserve. And then we have a foul. Steve Stahl from Port Henry and Rick Frisbee from Westport are the officials. Only the second foul on the Patriots. Both clubs have two fouls. Missouri puts it up from 12. And they have a foul. Jobert will shoot. Thirty-four point two on the clock. Jubert's second shot is off the back of the rim. McAllister comes out with it. She'll give it to Nut Brown. Bounce pass right in the middle of a bunch of white shirts. Alcott gives to Mandy. Picked off, almost picked off by Douglas. Douglas does get it. Fifteen seconds. A lot of time. They're playing like there's two seconds on the clock. Shot by Bro, rebounded by Mandy. Now we have two seconds. A low scoring, 6-4, first half, first quarter. All Sable Valley leads. Uh, All Sable said uh, Ticonderoga's got a bag of ice, why can't we have one? So they got a bag of ice. They're storing underneath their chair. Meanwhile, Tubbs is trying to melt her ice. <laughs> Nut Brown into Douglas over to McAllister. The rope back to McAllister. They go underneath for Nut Brown. Now Bro. Sable moving it around. Callister puts it up. Bro had the position. Couldn't get a handle on it. And the rope throws it out. Shot clock. Even though there had been a shot taken and that ball hadn't hit the rim. So it's not a shot unless the ball hits the rim. The shot clock keeps ticking. This is Olcott. Pushes it up to Mandy. Mandy double teamed. Johnson will score. McAllister up for the rope. Alcott puts it to the floor, brings it up. 6-6 six, six the score, 6.51 on the clock. Ball comes into Johnson. Taken away by Douglas. Pushes it up to Nut Brown, bounce pass. McAllister goes out of bounds. Johnson will inbound it. Alcott up to Johnson. Alcott on the fly. Scores. And the ball went through the net. 
that, there was one second on the shot clock. 8-6, Ticonderoga leads. Underneath for Nut Brown. Ticonderoga ball, Johnson's gonna go long. Too long. Rick Frisbee insisting that it was touched before it went out. Uh, so it's inbounded at the far end. I believe that was uh, Nut Brown who scored. Nut Brown with a steal. Another basket. He's going to get a three point opportunity. Nut Brown will shoot. The team is up. 10, 8. Off the roof, the white ball. Meserve into Meserve. Cheryl to Rebecca. Back to the Patriots. 524 showing here in the first half. Rebounded by Johnson. Rick Smith, not happy with that call. Kick called. McAllister to Douglas. I'll save a ball. White ball, Missouri will inbound. Stolen by DeRoe. And a reverse layup. Four point lead, off Sable, and now traveling. Douglas with the steal, but she traveled. Missouri into Missouri. Johnson back to Missouri. Double teamed. Picked off by Bro. The Rofe. Back out to Douglas. And Bro is fouled. Johnson's first foul. Foul called a nut brown. Ball comes in to Mandy, back to Missouri. Carter tying up Mandy. 409 showing here in the first half. Alcibo Valley leading by four. the ball. Stolen by Douglas. McAllister to the roof. Back to McAllister. Now Douglas. Carter ran into Jessica Kelly, lost the ball. 325 showing in the half. Kick. Carter will inbound it. That was a that was a Kelly kick, number 33. Sable, work 
looking for the shot. Carter again runs into Kelly. Alcott. And Kelly takes it, uh, Carter takes it away. And Kelly with the foul. That was a belly foul on Kelly. Uh, Kelly belly foul. There's McAllister. Nut Brown and Lachlan back in. 254 showing here in the second. Foul call on McAllister. Johnson will inbound it. Alcott will inbound. Reserve on the fly, nice shot by Rebecca Meserve. Not Brown will give it back to McAllister. 12 10 to score. Continues to be a low scoring ball game. Blocked. Alcott comes up with it. 2 12. Left and a half. Short, or actually long. Well, Sable's turn. Nut Brown into McAllister. We're at the two minute mark, 12 10, here in the second quarter. Nut Brown puts it to the floor. Rebounded by, not sure if it was Kelly or, or Jubert. Alcott will inbound. Sentinels in the stack. Jubert gives it back to Alcott. Jubert traveled. Bro inbounds to McAllister. Section 7, Class C semifinal. Air ball. Slapped out of bounds by DeRoe. Alcott into Kelly. Reserve back to Alcott. Douglas picks up her first foul, puts Alcott on the line for a one and one. One ten on the clock. And way downtown, McAllister with the tray gives Al Sable a five point lead. 15 10 travel on reserve. Rick Smith again, not happy with that call. Bro, McAllister from Douglas. Back to McAllister for another three. Not this time, rebounded by Meserve. Rebecca Meserve stops. Gets it to Johnson. Now Alcott. Looking away by Bro. 24 seconds. Shot clock is off. We'll all say we'll look for a final shot. Coach Long telling him to hold it. Look for the final shot. Blocked by Kelly. Here's Johnson at the buzzer. Missed the shot. Close a low scoring, 15-10. First half score, off Sable Valley leading Ticonderoga on viewer supported hometown cable, local television worth your support. Is Ticonderoga ball to start the second half? Your half, your half. All 
caught with the ball. Just looking over the, uh, let's see, DeRolf has a 15.3 points per game average. Well, Sable. We have some scoring information that we should have uh, shared with you earlier in the game. Well, let's see. Rolf, uh, 15.3. Tubbs out of average 10.7 points per game. And Nut Brown averages 11.1. I believe those are the only three players involved in today's game that were in the scoring leaders. And of course, Tubbs was injured 35 seconds into the game. It was all caught. Reserve up to Johnson. 10-5 here in the second half. Johnson pushes it out to Alcott. Air ball. Mandy will inbound it. Deep for Alcott. Taken away, and we have traveling on McAllister's part. White ball. We're a minute and a half into the second half. Nothing, nothing on the scoreboard yet for this half. Mandy inbounds to Meserve. Gives to Meserve. And the Sentinels will keep it. Section 7, Class C, semifinal. Cheryl Meserve's third foul. Sarah Jubert comes in for her. The rope out to McAllister over to Douglas. Good hustle, nice save there by uh, Nut Brown. Taking away Mandy. Reserve up to Johnson. Taken away by Douglas. And sloppy passing here. Nut Brown into McAllister. Now over to DeRoff. Douglas brings it back. Blue ball. Still no scoring here in the second half. We're at the 521 mark. Scores right where it was at the half. 15-10, Al Sable Valley. Patriots take it away. Bounce pass. Tended for Nut Brown. Reserve with the ball. Reserve passes off to Johnson. Douglas picks up her third foul, heads for the bench. Carter comes in for her. All caught. I mean, Mandy inbounds to Johnson. Reserve back to Johnson. Excuse me, Mandy. All Johnson will cut to the basket. Blue ball. Keeping the ball moving. Ty 
Ponderoga ball. The ball comes to Johnson. She puts it up. And we're going to have a hold called. DeRoe picks up her second foul. McAllister picks up her second foul. Mandy at the line, maybe the first points of the half will come from the charity stripe. 4.05 on the clock. We're almost halfway through the second quarter, uh, through the third quarter. And it's 15 12 ball game. No field goals yet in the second half. Fouls on Jubert. Carter will inbound. Ball comes to Bro. Puts it to the floor. Reverse layup. Fouls on Oh God, the fan said she's going for the ball. Well, that's all right. She's going for the ball, but she fouled. Off Carter. No, she saves it. Good hustle. This is McAllister. Tenny Snyder in. Reserve into the forecourt to Mandy. Aaron Connor over given keeping Tubbs company. Bro will inbound. Less than three to go in the third. Now Sable is yet to score and only points on the board for Ticonderoga in this half are two foul shots. Snyder shot rebounded by Johnson. Alcott gives to Meserve. Johnson back to Meserve. Throws it up. Short. Rebounded by Nut Brown. Pushes it up to McAllister. Shot from the corner is good by Sarah Bro. McAllister with a steal. Making away by Missouri up to Alcott. Shot is missed. Rebounded by Rebecca Meserve. She gives to Kelly. That Sable field goal was a three-pointer from Bro. That's 18 to 12. And Alcott jumps in, drops in the first Ticonderoga field goal of the second half. 18-14. One and a half to go in the third period. Long pass up for Johnson. Blocked by Bro. Jump ball. Reserve looking for to uh, get it into Jubert. Rebounded by Johnson. 58 seconds to go in the third. On the line. No, blocking foul on Carter. Bro in, replacing Snyder. 
46 seconds to go in the third. Johnson with the rebound. Alcott. Uh, Kelly back to Alcott. Stolen by Nut Brown. And we're going to have a foul on Alcott. She had the position. She should have just stopped. And taken the charge. Nut Brown misses the first. It was 15 10 at the end of the second quarter. Reserve with the rebound. Here's, here's uh, Mandy, too strong. Kelly puts it in. Two point ball game. Seven seconds. Row for three. No, it's blocked. Eighteen sixteen at the end of the third, not the first. In the game preceding this, Saranac Lake scored 23 in a losing effort to Northeastern, who scored 83. And I thought that 23 was a low score. But, but the winning team here could end up with 23. I'm going to go on a line here and a limb and predict that both teams will be in the 30s when this game is over. It's now 20 to 16. I'm predicting a big fourth quarter. Fouls on Johnson. Nut Brown at the line. That's 22 to 16. Mandy brings it down. Alcott to Mandy underneath for Johnson. Back out for Mandy. And picked up by Nut Brown. Tipped by Bro. McAllister with the ball. Three row back out to McAllister over to Douglas. And rebounded by Johnson. 6.40 to go, 22-16. Alcibo Valley leading Section 7, Class C. Championship game awaits the winner. Bro, better get those brakes checked. Marina Johnson hits the first. Marina Johnson at the line. To make it a four-point game again, 6.29 showing. Infraction on white, it's blue ball. No kick, reserve comes up with it. Mandy shot is missed, reserve rebounds, puts it up and in. It's 22-19, 6.15 to go. Reserve. Mandy, no. Olcott. Olcott rebound. Blocked from behind by DeRoff. 5.47 remaining. Off Sable with the ball and a three point lead. Trail by three. 
5.20 left in the game. Reserve shot is missed. Rebounded by DeRoe. McAllister brings it up. Gets it over to Douglas. In the corner. Bro. Thought about it. Rebecca Meserve with her second foul. Not Brown shooting. Carter in for Bro. Reserve to Meserve to Johnson to Mandy. Broken play. Johnson just kind of threw it up there. Timeout off Sable. Up Brown looks like she's got a bloody lip. Twenty-nine remaining, 24-21 the score. Carter will inbound it. McAllister to DeRoe, back to McAllister for three. Rebounded by Johnson. Reserve up to Alcott, Alcott puts it to the floor. Dishes off to Johnson. Foul underneath, off on White. Cheryl Missouri picks up her second foul. Carter misses the front of the one and one. 24 21 the score. Under four to go in the game. Shoot, Missouri picks up her third foul. Fourth foul. <laughs> the Rolf drops in one of them, 26 21. Reserve bringing it up. Gets it to Alcott. Taken back by Missouri. I'll say we'll turn on the jump ball. Wait in. By DeRoe. Time out. Ticonderoga. Rick Smith's sister Karen Coons is here and she knows that he'll blame her for this loss if they should lose. It's a seven point game with 2.40 to go. Reserve will inbound. Mandy to Alcott. On the 
held ball. Ticonderoga will keep it. Alcott will inbound. To Johnson back to Alcott. 2.23 and counting. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Douglas stops the clock. Picks up, her, I believe, her fourth foul. Gives uh, Ty a chance to put some points on the scoreboard without having to hurry about it. But Missouri misses the front of the one and one. Nut Brown with the rebound. Gives it to Douglas. Over to McAllister. She pushes it up for Bro. Two minutes to go in the game. Section 7, Class C semifinal. Cheryl Meserve has fouled out. I made that bold prediction that both teams would hit 30. I'm willing to admit that I'm probably going to be wrong. However, Bro could make me right on one of the teams. Now well, we've still got a minute 50 remaining. She misses them both. Rebecca Meserve with the rebound. Mandy back to Meserve. Off the rim. Rebounded by Bro. McAllister throws it up to Bro. He drives, misses the layup. Nut Brown's there. And the Patriots have hit the 30 point mark. 30 21 to score. A nine point deficit. Looks very, very bad for the Ticonderoga Sentinels. They never recovered from. The injury to Tubbs. So Megan Tubbs' career will come to an end on the sidelines. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the line, it's Mandy hitting a foul shot. Caitlin Mandy. It's them both. Seven point game with 107 on the clock. The rope to Bro. Let's see if Ty is not going to foul, apparently. Sable looking to use the clock. Two seconds on the shot clock. Uh, I don't know about that. The shot was in the air. Didn't hit till after the buzzer, but the shot was in the air. Alcott shot rebounded by DeRoe. Douglas shooting. Twenty one seconds remaining. Thirty one twenty three. Into Missouri. To Alcott. And dropped in by Rebecca Missouri. 31 25, that should do it. Seven seconds left in the game. So a six point victory for the Osable Valley Patriots defeating the Ticonderoga Sentinels, and that's the way it was. Section 7, Class C. Semi final play. Osable Valley will now move on and face the winner of Seton Catholic and Tupper Lake. Thanks for watching.
And for those of you like the Snow family, who support Hometown Cable, our only regret was that Lindsay Snow didn't get to play in this one. Thanks for watching, and for those of you supporting viewer-supported local television, Hometown Cable TV, worth your support.